Now let us discuss about the Van de Graaff generator. So in the year of 1921, Robert J. Van de Graaff, this is a person. So he is Robert. So this person in the year of 1929 designed an electrostatic machine which produces large electrostatic potential difference to the order of 10 to the power of 7 volt. So in terms of its working scenario, the working of this Van de Graaff generator is based on the principle of electrostatic induction and action of points. So you can see here the Van de Graaff generator. So this is the hollow metallic sphere indicated as A. So this one which is mounted on the insulating pillars. So you can see the pillars on both the sides. So here is a pulley B. So this is the pulley which is mounted at the center of the sphere. And another pulley C is there which is mounted near the bottom of the Van de Graaff generator. So you can also see a belt which is made of silk. So this belt is made up of silk which moves over the pulley in the Van de Graaff. So the pulley C is driven continuously by the electric motor. And you can also find two comb shaped conductors that is D and E which will be having number of needles which is said to be mounted near the pulley. The comb D, so this one, is maintained at a positive potential of the order 10 to the power of 4 volt by a power supply. The upper comb E is connected to the inner side of the hollow metal sphere. So this one. So because of the high electric field near the comb D, the air gets ionized due to the action of points. Whereas the negative charges in the air tends to move towards the needle and the positive charge are going to be repelled on towards the belt. So thus before we can just simply define that these positive charges stick to the belt that is the silk belt moving up and reaches near the comb E. As a result of electrostatic induction, the comb E acquires a negative charge and the sphere acquires a positive charge. You can see the outside which is indicated in the positive charges. So the acquired positive charge is distributed on the outer surface of the sphere. You can see here very clearly how the positive charges have been spread out and distributed. So now the high electric field at the comb E ionizes the air. If you see about the negative charge that are getting to be repelled to the belt and neutralizes the positive charge on the belt before the belt passes over the pulley. Hence, the descending belt will be left uncharged. Thus, the machine continuously transfers the positive charge to the sphere. As a result of this, the potential of the sphere keeps increasing till it attains a limiting value to the maximum. After this stage, no more charge can be placed on the sphere and it starts leaking to the surrounding due to the ionization of air. Apart from this, the leakage of the charge from the sphere can be reduced by enclosing it in a gas filled steel chamber at a very high pressure. So you can see here, Considering the high voltage produced in this Van de Graaff generator that can be used to accelerate the positive ions of protons and deuterions for the purpose of nuclear disintegration. You can find here the acceleration of positive ions which is depicted in the Van de Graaff generator.